Joining us now, CNN political commentator, S.E. Cup. You know, S.E., I think we need to be careful, actually, referring to this as fringe based on some of the polling here. The AP did a poll. Roughly one in three, 32% adults agree that a group of people is trying to replace native-born Americans with immigrants for electoral gains. How does an idea like this get to 32%? <sighs> uh, hi, everyone. Welcome back. There's a meme I shared on my community tab today about an alien coming down to earth and the guy he meets is like whatever I got too much shit going on, bro. It's so true Things are obviously so out of whack and seemingly getting worse every day That I don't think anybody would care or be surprised if they suddenly showed up ever since that Unimaginably evil attack on the Buffalo supermarket that targeted black people our enemy of the people media have Predictably not let a good crisis go to waste and are in the process of attaching the act of one stark raving mad lunatic to around 175 million people there are many problems with this not least of which is the fact that he was a communist left-wing authoritarian green nationalist who hated everyone including republicans ben shapiro tucker carlson and fox news but of course this won't stop the democrat vultures and their corrupt media mouthpieces from latching onto something anything even within a million degrees of separation that they can attach to their political opponents and their business competition in this case is something called replacement theory we know what the democrats are up to here they want open borders this is exactly their strategy uh, they want to replace the american electorate with a growing number of republican lawmakers now openly promoting the far-right so-called great replacement theory does this story seem possible not this time Okay, so I'm by no means an expert or even a novice when it comes to this theory. But something tells me there's a big, big difference between the race-based neo-Nazi conspiracy theory and calling out Democrats for using illegal immigration as a way of expanding their voter base. But do you think CNN or Democrats are gonna make this distinction? No, no, fuck, no. I'm gonna shred this CNN segment, but first give me just a moment to tell you about this special offer for prepare with drone tech.com friends the world is in serious danger right now inflation is causing food prices to skyrocket the global supply chain continues to collapse and the coming food shortages will be worse than anything we've lived through in times like these what should you do go to prepare with drone tech.com and invest in long-term food storage from my patriot supply while you still can. My Patriot Supply is the largest preparedness company in America with millions of satisfied customers, me included. Their food lasts for up to 25 years in storage. When you need it, you'll have it and you'll avoid the government lines. Go to preparewithdronetech.com and save $150 on every three month food kit. That's preparewithdronetech.com. Protect your family and secure this emergency food today. Preparewithdronetech.com. For many Americans, what seems to be happening or what they believe right now is happening is uh, what appears to them is we're replacing national born American, native born Americans per to permanently transform the political landscape of this very nation. The racist anti-immigrant theory that says non-white immigrants are being brought to replace America's white population. This administration wants complete open borders and you have to ask yourself why. Is it really they want to remake the demographics of America? The theory has been amplified by voices on Fox News. I mean, everyone wants to make a racial issue out of it. Ooh, the, you know, white replacement theory. No, no, no. This is a voting rights question. I have less political power because they're importing a brand new electorate. Why should I sit back and take that? Joining us now, CNN political commentator, S.E. Cup. You know, S.E., I think we need to be careful, actually, referring to this as fringe based on some of the polling here. The AP did a poll. Roughly one in three, 32% adults agree that a group of people is trying to replace native-born Americans with immigrants for electoral gains. How does an idea like this get to 32%. 
fucking real. I swear, this stuff looks more and more like the dystopian sci-fi movies of the 80s, like The Running Man and They Live. In case you didn't catch it, every single one of those Republicans was speaking specifically about the political ramifications of large numbers of illegal immigrants coming into the country. They never said anything about just white Americans, they said all Americans. In fact, the clip that they played of Senator Ron Johnson was deceptively edited, stopping the clip where he says, quote, Democrats are trying to change American demographics. This administration wants complete open borders and you have to ask yourself why. Is it really they want to remake the demographics of America? Leaving out the part where he says, quote, to ensure that they stay in power forever. Again, a political issue, not a racial one. Even so, knowing that they deceptively edited that, they still called it racist anti-immigrant. I think we need to be careful actually referring to this as fringe based on some of the polling here. The AP did a poll, roughly one in three, 32% adults agree that a group of people is trying to replace native born Americans with immigrants for electoral gains. How does an idea like this get to 32%? By 2045, the nation will be less than 50% white. True? Correct. Yes. And the political and it, implications of this, Dr. Signs, are very significant. Explain what it means in a state like, say, Texas. Yeah, Texas, you see uh, these demographic uh, trends have, ar have already been pl playing out. Right now in Texas, uh, the Latino population is about 39, 40% of the population. Whites are about 41% of the population. Uh, demographers project that by 2022, uh, Latinos will become the largest uh, racial or ethnic group in the state of Texas. Yet when we talk about politics, um, there is a significant lag period here with respect to uh, uh, demographic strength uh, translating to political power. So here in Texas, for example, we have about 30%, 30, uh, one third of the uh, uh, Latino population are less than 18 years of age. So these are individuals who are not eligible to vote. And then you also have a certain portion of the population that is um, um, that are here without being uh, U.S. citizens. They may be here legally, temporary residents, etc., but they are not U U.S. citizens, so they cannot vote. So it's a significant portion of the population in Texas that uh, that cannot vote. So you have that lag uh, period between demographic strength and and um, and political power. In addition, I understand. Know, I understand. But yeah. but having but having said that, but having said that, if the current alignments maintain themselves, meaning those groups that tend to vote for each party and that party's candidates long term, the GOP has got a problem. That's the bottom yeah. line. How does an idea like this Get to 32%. <laughs> you just know that it's somehow different when they do it. Also, notice how he says native-born Americans, not white. The AP did a poll. Roughly one in three, 32% adults agree that a group of people is trying to replace native-born Americans with immigrants for electoral gains. They're trying so desperately hard to connect a political issue to a completely unrelated racial conspiracy theory. That Democrats want to benefit politically from illegal immigration is mainstream. And it's been talked about openly on other networks, not just CNN, including NPR, where they said, quote, the country is changing. It's getting browner as population growth slows among whites. Non-whites now make up a majority of kindergartners by the next president presidential election, the Census Bureau predicts they will become the majority of all children. America is at a demographic inflection point. The cross currents of demographic and cultural change are upending traditional voting patterns and straining the fabric of what it means to be American. How does an idea like this get to 32%? And here's Michael Moore straight up saying the country will be better when whites are a minority. The angry white guy is dying out. And the Census Bureau has already told us that by 2050, white people are going to be the minority, and I'm not sad to say I can't wait for that day to happen. I hope I live long enough to see it, because it will be a better country. Here's a Philip Bump article from 2014, and if you know this guy, he's the leftist at the Washington Post. And he straight up acknowledges that Democrats expect white people becoming a minority and illegal immigration as something that will eventually benefit them. How does an idea like this get to 32%. But shut up, racist. You're spreading Putin propaganda. Lastly, who sponsored this deceptive CNN propaganda? That would be Lactaid, PNC, Carvana, Clear Choice, 
celebrity cruises, and Tempur-Pedic. Don't spend your money on people that hate you. All right, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Then leave a comment to help the algorithm. Thanks a lot. <laughs>